All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back. I'm playing Payday 2. Um, so today we're gonna take a look at the final dentist heist. We already took a look at Big Bank. Now we're coming back to the diamond, and we're gonna play this on very hard. And we'll be right back as soon as the mission loads up. All right, so we're back. Real quick, before we get into this, I'm listening to music on my Razor Krakens because I talked about it in yesterday's video how I lost my um, Apple earpods I normally use. Uh, I could use my old ones, but I'm like, you know what? It's been a while since we used our Kraken, so let's bust them out. Listen to Still Dre. Pretty good song with these headphones. So, let's get into this. This heist you could do in, uh, let me see, you could ghost it, you know, uh, silent, but we're going in loud like always. So, glass cutter, I don't really care for. Backup, bagman, that's only stealth only. Surveillance, I never use surveillance. So, for dead drop, we're just going to bring two um, things. We're going to do courtyard shrubbery. And I don't need ammo because I already have two ammo bags. Thermite paste, don't care for. Now, as for the um, as for the weapons we're going to use, I could bring the breaker, but let's have fun. Let's. This is going to be an up-close mission, so you don't need long range. Let's bring the pistol grip. Uh, we're going to bring the CR. I don't remember the original name. Um, we'll bring that. No. Uh, let's bring the throwing axe. I want to play around with that. And we're pretty much ready. So let's get into this. Let's see what this is like. Now, this heist, like I'm saying, is going to be completely close range because you're going to be inside the, um, the whole time you're going to be, I want to kill him with this. Oh my god. It's somewhere over here. Yeah, we're already caught, whatever. Good, good. I'm pretty sure, yep, you can break it open. So what you want to look for in the beginning is you're here looking for the security room. There it is. You have to open this one, unfortunately. Now, um, today's, you guys are watching this Tuesday, right? Should be Tuesday. Yep, Tuesday. Okay, you guys are seeing this tomorrow. I'm recording this Monday. Um, like I've said in my video yesterday and the video to come out later today for quick play, I am going to be working this Thursday, so I'm going to be gone out of town. Um, I'll be gone Thursday night into Friday. I'll be back Friday night. I have no idea when, but I'll be back Friday night. Now, um, while I'm gone, or, so, today is Monday. I said that a minute ago. Um, I want to go deposit money, a good large amount of money. Nothing past a thousand dollars, but, you know, a still pretty good significant amount of money. And... I could waste the money right now. I'm going to wait till I come back from work because after this event this week... Oh, sweet package. After the event this week, I have about two weeks off. I won't have to go back to work um, until... Let's see. Give me a second. Let's go back to our... Um, let's go to our calendar. So this weekend is going to be the 25th and 26th I'll be working. I don't have to work until... September 9th is about the next time I'm going to have to work. All right, sorry. Um, something came up. But yeah, September 9th is the next time I'm going to have work. So essentially, I'm going to have two weeks of a break before work hap before any more work. But um, Saturday coming back after working this event, I'm going to be stopping at GameStop. Or not stopping because it's going to be like 9 o'clock by the time I get off work. But Saturday, the day after I'm back, I'm going to go to GameStop and I'll be pre-ordering... Um, I'll be pre-ordering... Uh, course party for 3ds and i really just cannot wait i'm super excited i'm like dude i'm excited for this oh dude you see that spin actually guys i need to check something so i'm gonna stop the recording i'll be right back this is sort of something i need to purchase um like i'm saying i'm purchasing one thing today oh the next thing is in there i'm gonna be purchasing one thing today um I know when I come back from working, I'm going to be purchasing the, or, I'm going to wait. I need to wait for this guy to respond back before I purchase anything. Because I'm trying to buy stickers for my car. Um, I fucking love, every sticker I buy on my car, I absolutely love. But, um, yeah. I know Saturday, I'm going to be purchasing, um, I will be purchasing Course Party. And I'm also going to purchase some plugs. Now, I've talked about before. For those of you who don't know what plugs are, they're stretched ear. They're for stretched ears, you know. People call them gauges, but they're really plugs or tunnels. But um, yeah, I'm trying to stretch my ear up to 22 millimeters. Um, for those of you who vape, take a look at your RDA or your sub ohm tank. 
that's about 22 millimeters, and that's about how big I'm trying to get my ears. But, um, yeah, I discovered this company, Arctic Buffalo. I talked about them briefly in the past. They sell a size-up kit for, um, stretched ears, and it's, it looks like it's painless. It looks like it's easy. I'm gonna try them, and if I like them, honestly, I'll be reviewing them. Even if I don't like them, I'll be reviewing them, but they look like a really good idea, and I love how they, um, how they do sizing up. Because normally, to size up, it's like a 5 millimeter difference, which is a huge jump. But Arctic Buffalo's kit goes up by 1 millimeter each plug. So I'm like, dude, that's amazing. I got so scared when I saw him. I'm like, oh, fuck, he saw me. Uh, I think this guy's about to start commenting. Um, let me say, I'm waiting for this company from this guy, uh, ZNO Future. I'm going to call him Zeno. So I'm, like, waiting for Xeno Future to, like, tell me, like, what's going on because I asked him to hold three different stickers for me. Technically six because I ordered doubles, but I asked him, hey, can you hold the a set of these three and I'll buy them when I get paid? And he's like, well, I ran out of one of the ones you wanted. I'm like, that's all right then. I'm like, uh, I see you have another one in stock that I want to buy. Uh, can you, can I switch it out? Yeah, and right now I'll sign him. I'm like, dude, like... So, he had... The sticker I wanted was a no-known Jacuzzi sticker. I've talked about her before. Fucking waifu status in anime. But, um... Yeah. I'm all like... Oh, sweet. Um... And, like, I was trying to buy one. He's like, yeah, dude, they ran out, but I have more coming in. And then I'm all like, dude, can I switch out the no-knowns for Serial Experiments Lane? Which was a good show, just extremely confusing, honestly. I'm like, can I switch it off for a zero... Ugh, serial experiments lane one he's all like yeah dude uh let me just get home i'm driving home right now um he's like dude i'll hit you with a discount too i'm like sweet not necessary but sweet and then he's all he just texts me he's all like oh and the new no no ones are gonna have more sparkle i'm like dude bruh it's like i'm ready i could wait honestly if it takes two weeks to get them i could wait but this heist is honestly you're gonna want a shotgun for this heist that's what i'm saying Right now, I'm saying you're going to want a shotgun for this heist. You you could bring any gun, except I don't know if you'd want to bring a sniper. There's no point. But, like, a shotgun and an SMG are going to be your best friends in this heist. Why can't I shoot? Yeah, shotguns and snipers are going to be your best friend. Ugh. Another thing about this heist, you saw I just broke a vase. You could break items you're trying to steal. Like, you see how it says Gensec? I could have stolen that and got money and sold it. Unfortunately, I shot it and broke it. So I'm like, ah, oh, dude, that's that's horrible. There goes money. Now we just got to force the time lock again. And inside, I'm going to give you a little trick. Not really a trick. I'm pretty sure most people know this. But I didn't notice until I played this heist a few times. But you have to go through like a certain little, um, a puzzle, sort of. I wouldn't call it a puzzle because it's obvious and straightforward. But, you know... Most people didn't, don't know about it. And of course I'd shoot the flying helmet. Give me one second. I'm going to respond to this guy because I need to. Alright, I'm going to hit this guy up. Like, I I didn't even message him. I just read his message fully because he sent me three messages in a row. Uh, I'm not going to message him right now because once again he's driving. I don't want to like, you know. I don't want to... I would hate for this guy to get in an accident. Not because I'm buying something from him, but... You know, you shouldn't be on your phone if you're driving. Like, seriously, if you're on your phone... Or if you're driving, you should not be on your phone at all. I say that, and I'm such a... Hor Ugh. I'm such a horrible person because I talk... Or I drive, and I sometimes go on my phone to, like, change songs. But even I shouldn't be doing that because there's been times where I, like, I'll swerve. Nothing major, but, like, I'll start going to a different lane, so... It's not good. It's not good. And I don't want to type a message out to this guy and have him fucking drive into, like, a wall or something. And you see, they stopped it right on zero. And right, now we got to bust through this door. You could pick it. I don't think you could shoot it open. Give me one second. I'm going to grab some water as we do this. One thing I mix about, or I miss about Hawk's HUD was the holding the button down so it would automatically do this. Um, I don't need it, but I miss that so much. And give me one second. I cannot listen to this song anymore. It was uh, Kingdom Hearts, the dearly beloved song. It's like, uh, I can't listen to it right now. 
But Babe Mel, give me chocolate. I can listen to that, no problem. So we we have to hack this box to show us, and we're gonna give us a second. Okay, so you see how it's green? Oh, dude, that's the most simplest one. So we go up to so look, there's six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we go up to and to the right. So you see, nothing so far. And kill enemies. Enemies can trigger it, so don't let the enemies come by. Because they will trigger the um, gas. And I'll show you that as we're leaving. So we went up to, we need to go up one more. Alright, so we have to go up one more. And then you see, just follow the little pattern. It's up until this one. And then you open the display. And you steal your diamond. Oh, dude, dude, the fucking cloaker. The cloaker triggered the thing. So there's gas in there. Yeah, there's gas in the chamber if you trigger the wrong one. And it will kill you. Like, it does start taking away your health. I'm surprised my teammates have lasted that long in there. But you're going to want to run out immediately if you, uh, if you end up triggering it. Now, the problem with triggering it is that you also have to wait for the um, gas to go away. Then you have to go drill into where the diamond is. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you right now when we go in there. But you don't want to trigger the gas because it's just a waste of time. Yeah, the whole room fills up with gas and it just... It will take away your health. And it'll waste your time. And if you know me, I don't like wasting my time doing stuff. I'd rather do it fast. We're already at 10 minutes and we're already halfway done with the mission. Or the heist. I keep saying mission. They're heists. Seriously, you just gotta stay alive. That's the whole... Honestly, half of Payday 2 is staying alive. That's like half the game, honestly. Because as you wait for stuff to happen, you just have to stay alive, kill as much as you can. I think next, after we're done with the with the dentist, I think we're doing um, the elephant now. But you see, now the gas is gone, so... Yep, they lowered it into the floor. Just put the drill, it takes like a minute or two. Yeah, about a minute. Nothing back here. I don't think there's any packages in here. I mean, you could look. And now since you triggered the, um, the thing, now since you triggered the, um, the gas, you could walk around wherever. But these things lower into the ground, as you see. And that's the one problem. Your teammates can't trigger it, but the enemies can, so, you know, you gotta be careful for them. And of course, this drill could be um, turned off and you have to restart it. But this heist is decent. You see, I get some good XP, some barely any money in my opinion, but you know, you're getting some good stuff. I feel this is more XP oriented heist, not really money. Nothing in there. Gotta waste 40 more seconds. But I would say, like, if you have all DLC, a shotgun would probably be a good weapon to bring. Or even the bootleg. A bootleg would just, like, tear down everyone. Just mow down anyone in your path. Um, the micro Uzi would be good. Any SMG, shotgun, or full auto weapon would be great. An LMG, or, like I'm saying, the bootleg, because you can aim down sight. But an LMG, just walking into the hall and just spraying everyone, would work amazingly. I think I just saw a package. Nope, my eyes deceive me. There's an artifact. We're just going to wait for the diamond. Now, one thing is you could run with the diamond, but you can't run with anything else you steal, like artifacts. So, just be aware of that. Love that light, honestly. We just took off his face. So you see, you can run with a diamond. 
Let's hide right here. Let's reload. I mean, if you want to, a good setup I could think of right now would be like an LMG and, um, would be an LMG and, uh, a judge. That'd be a great setup, in my opinion. Bootleg and a judge. Or if you want to run the shotgun route as a primary, then a shotgun and a micro Uzi would be beautiful. You know, you could destroy anything in your path. I mean, maybe a stakeout would work good, too. Any shotgun, honestly. If you're good with a shotgun, bring it. I want to get headshots with those axes. Not necessary, but, you know, it's just nice. And one thing I always do is we're going to get more out there. Gotta be careful of your shots. Once again, you can destroy artifacts you're trying to steal. Let's see. We're trying to get out to where we had to escape. So I always like to throw everything over here. Because the escape is going to be right there. Always throw the diamond in last. Because if you throw it in first, it'll prompt the escape. And you might end up accidentally triggering it. I'm just going to run over here, grab any artifacts in here. And be aware they will steal the diamond, so... Oh, you can run with that artifact then. We're just going to run out of there. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got an SMG, okay. God, just lag central today. My computer doesn't want to run much today, I could tell. Because I've tried editing a video for uh, Gears of War for quick play, and it didn't want to do it. It took a while. Like, it just doesn't want to compute today. Yeah, you see, I can't run with this. So it's just more of like certain items are you can run with. Obviously, some you can't. Thankfully, I have the skill for when I'm hurt. My... Walk speed is increased. Take a knife. We'll take. We'll come back for the air knife right now. And I just like to work from room to room. You know, there was nothing in the other room that I saw. I'll go back and check in a second. Nothing else in here. Oh, that's an artifact we can steal. You know, and once again, you don't need these artifacts. You just need the one diamond. That's all you're here for. Me, I'm just a greedy person, so if I could get it, why not? There's no more artifacts in here. There's no more artifacts in the diamond room. We're going to check that room again because there might be something on the walls. That destroyed one. Nope. Nope. Okay, so. Nothing here. These fish are artifacts. So all you have to do is just throw them into the helicopter. And once again, just be careful. Don't throw the diamond in because it'll prompt the escape. And you can only throw four things in, so we have to choose one more bag. Now you can only throw four items in at a time. Money went up a little. But once something's in the bag, you can't shoot it. Like, it won't hurt it. As if it were still on the wall. So, the skulls one. Nothing, nothing. We'll check here, you know. Just look for anything with Gensec, like this one. The Ankh, and then the Eye. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't really care. That Egyptian shit, yo. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. I could already see fucking people are going to get offended by that. Whatever. People get offended by everything. And then there's going to be two people to that joke. 
people who get offended and people who don't get how people get offended. And then there's people like me who don't care and will probably laugh. If you get the joke, you know. Is the joke racist? Yes, it is. Pretty race based. Do I make do I make racist jokes often? Quite often. I make jokes that shouldn't be made, honestly. Does that make me a horrible person? More than likely. Have I pissed off people in real life? Yes. A lot. Do I still continue to do them? Yes. So I'm just... Once again, you just mow everyone down. Seriously, shotgun is what you want. No gen sec, no gen sec. And I'm not sure how many things there are to steal. I think it's like 12 items. 13 including the um, the diamond. I'm not 100% positive. So far we only have 4 that are actually secured. And we got a minus 1 that was destroyed. Yeah, so we got like a few items, one that's destroyed. Let's see, let's go run back down here real quick to make sure we have everything. XP went up, money of course went up. Let's see anything here? Nothing here, so you can also check up here on the sides. I don't see it very often, but I know there is sometimes stuff. Come back, Cloaker. I just want to kill a Cloaker. Sorry, David. Was it David? I think that was David. Um, don't really know much about sculptures. Don't really remember. Don't really care. Um, there are stuff... Ugh, there are stairs down here, but they lead to like files in a library. Nothing important. Nothing important in my opinion. I don't think there's anything to steal down there, so whatever. Um, we already hit up this room, correct? Yep, those are the skulls. And then we have um, packages that are oftentimes in the centered um, area. I'm trying to kill a cloaker. Now, I'm not sure if they could steal your stuff and take them out of bounds. I'm not sure. I'm going to kill them so they don't. Because I know on certain heists, if they steal your stuff, they could take it out of bounds. Which you don't want being done. Like, on escape days, you, there's those invisible walls that I know they could steal your stuff behind. Here would be a good time to have an SMG. Um... Once again, I have the CR, but nah, we're good with the shotgun. That cloaker dropped it like it's hot. So, oh shit, was that in our cloaker? Pick him up. So, I feel we're missing a few things, a few items. We only have one bag left. We have 12. Yep, 14 bags. Okay. So it was originally 14 bags, or 13, including the one diamond. Um, one of them was shot by me, so that was my fault. But, um, yeah, 14 items in total equaling... We start out 200,000. Eh, not really much of a great payoff, but... XP, you're going to get some good XP for this heist. Now, as for um, special enemies, I only saw, like, a few shields. I see a lot of tasers and a lot of cloakers. Um, I haven't seen a bulldozer here. Um, I don't recall if there is a bulldozer, but, you know, just always be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, dude, he spun like he was about to get up. Oh, my God, that was just pure luck. Cross the map, Tomahawk.
I'm trying to get tomahawk kills for no reason. I'm probably going to go down. Ugh. Fuck you. These tomahawks, man. These tomahawks are too crazy. Uh, just... This mission ate up 24 minutes. Not bad. Um, I know I need to waste another 30 minutes before I go for my sister. But yeah, this... Where's the bag? Where's the fucking... Oh, I have the bag. I'm like, where's the fucking bag? So you see, you put the diamond in, that's all you needed. I only got 13 bags, that diamond brought hella money though, holy fuck. But this is what I'm saying, be careful. Um, this is why you want to put the diamond last for the escape. There's 14 bags, I wish I had that final bag, but damn, the diamond brought the price and XP up. So let's see, the diamond heist, is it worth it? For XP and from what it looks of it, money, yes, this heist is definitely worth it. Um... I don't remember if this heist came with any weapons or anything. I don't recall. Uh, 586,000. Not too much, but it's not horrible either. It's definitely worth it. XP, I feel it, ex I feel it excels in XP. Um, so, yeah. Diamond heist. Is it worth it? I feel so. I feel it's a good heist. It's a good quick little heist. Let's see, what was it? 25 minutes? That's not bad, honestly, for this heist. Um, a lot of kills. Like I'm saying... It's a good heist, honestly. I would definitely recommend this heist. Um, if you have it, yeah, just play it, you know? Would I recommend buying it off with offshore money? Yes, I would. It, I feel it's worth it. So, until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.